Make your weapons as one. Coordination means what? To make your weapons as one. And self confidence. Knowing I can do it even though I never tried it. Self confidence. Knowing I can do it even though I never tried it. Try to lose a fight in rule number one. Never move back in a straight line. Rule number one. Never move back in a straight line. Hey, why? Because if you move back, sooner or later he's gonna hit you. If you move back, you step up. Never move back in a straight line. Rule number two. Never set. Rule number two. Never set. Never set long enough for your opponent to think of what to do to you. Okay, if you're moving, if the bird is sitting on something, you need to hit. If the bird is flying, you have to catch it first. Okay? So never set. Rule number three, redirect. Rule number three. Redirect. Redirect your opponent's weapon. That means if he's striking, every time you do this, you think, okay, I dropped it. You didn't block nothing. You absorb the impact. So when you block, you catch it and you move it away. You move just like this. You don't catch something, you move it out of the way. And you don't want to catch impact. You want to move impact. You want to guide impact. And I've been fighting for this is my, almost my sixth decade of warfare. My first fight was in 58, my last fight and it was in 94. And the reason why I can still understand myself it's because I don't like getting hit. Not that I can't take a good hit, I just don't like getting hit. You shouldn't like getting hit, but you get hit to learn, so you're not afraid of it. Okay, so you're not afraid of being hit. Once you learn to not be afraid of it, don't get hit after that. Say, I already paid my dues, I don't need to get hit no more. All right, so, the key in warfare, okay, the key in warfare is about 80% of it is mental. The item concept of what you tell yourself, 80% of it. 20% is physical. You're going to do it anyway. And the rest of that, 99.9.9% of the rest of that is emotional, which is inside. And only okay, when you threaten everything you hide inside will come up. That is how you know ownership. Don't memorize something, own it. And the only way you own it is to practice under pressure. Practice. Okay? And the only way you can practice that okay, is to have somebody hit the technique, hit the target. So that way, okay, you feel there's a threat. Train with a threat. When you train with a threat, you respond with a threat. And when you respond with a threat, you're no longer a fear of it. You're no longer afraid of it. Okay? So, listen. 